In this demonstration video, we're going to show how Silence Protect protects your systems from the effects of the defray ransomware. We begin with a system with Silence Protect installed. However, this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to disconnect this system from the internet to show that Silence Protect does not require a cloud connection for convicting malware. We take the system offline, but we're only offline from the internet. If we ping an internal server, like the Exchange server, we can see that we have local network connectivity. This is important as Defray is delivered as a weaponized document that may be in your email. In this case, we're simply going to copy the Defray weaponized document over from a file server and open it. As you can see here, there are no warnings to enable macros or any other security warnings. In this case, the user simply double clicks on the YouTube-like icon to actually start the malware running. So let's go ahead and double click. As the malware is executed through the document, the user gets a pop-up to run Explorer EXE. Explorer being a common named application, the user is tricked into actually executing the malware. So the user goes ahead and clicks run. And immediately in this case, the user gets an error saying that the file cannot be executed. And shortly thereafter, you see a pop-up in the bottom right-hand corner from Silence saying that the file has been quarantined. Now we can go back to the desktop and examine the Silence local console to get information about this event. And you can also see that we are still not able to ping the internet. The last thing that's interesting about this system, besides being off the internet, is that we're actually using a version of Silence that is nearly two years old that was able to successfully predict the defray ransomware and prevent your system from being infected.